In uh, this next podcast, we'll look a little bit more closely at solving exponential equations, and we'll just do it through a series of examples. I want to recall that there are two methods that we've studied. The first is to use the one-to-one -one property, and the second is what we call the two-step method, and I've outlined the two steps for the two-step method right here. First step is isolate the exponential. Remember, the exponential consists only of a base, and an exponent, and there's nothing else in the exponential. Isolate the exponential, then take logs of both sides. Okay, let's go to example one. You might be tempted right off the bat to use the one-to-one -one property, but the problem is that the exponential function on the left is not the same as the exponential function on the right. One is the exponential base five, the other is the exponential base three. So you cannot say that 2x plus 3 is equal to x minus 1, so we'll have to do something else. We jump to the two-step method, which first says isolate the exponential. Well, here we have two exponentials, and both of them are isolated. Each one of them is by itself on one side. So we've already completed the first step. Let's move on to step two, take logs of both sides. Now, here the issue is what log do you take of both sides? We could take the LOG of both sides, that's something that's on our calculator. We could take LN of both sides, that's on our calculator. We could take log 5 of both sides, because one of our exponentials has base 5, so that would be good for reversing that one, but the other one's not base 5, so in order to finish the problem, we would need the change of base formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take logs of both sides, and I'm just going to use the LOG, which means the log base 10. I could just as easily use LN. Both of them are on the calculator. So step one, I'm going to take LOG of both sides. LOG, that's log base 10 of 5 to the 2x plus 3 is equal to LOG of 3 to the x minus 1. Now I'm going to use a log property, and the log property says the log of u to the n is n times the log of u. So I'll use that over here. Here I have the log of 5 to the 2x plus 3, so that's the same as 2x plus 3 to the log, times log of 5. And on this side I'll get x minus 1 times the log of 3. That's the log base 10 of 3, the exponent of 10 that gives you 3. Next I'll distribute 2x log 5 plus 3 log 5 is equal to x log 3 minus 1 log 3, or just say minus log 3. Now notice there are only two terms with x, and this is just a straight linear equation, so what I'm going to do is get all my x terms on one side and all my non-x terms on the other side. So to do that, I'll take the term x log 3 and move it over to the left. So I'll have 2x log 5 minus x log 3, and that's all my x terms on the left side. Then I want all my non-x terms on the right side, so I'm going to take the 3 log 5, which is a non-x term, and I'm going to move it to the other side. So I'll have negative the log of 3 minus 3 log 5. The next step says form a single x term. Now I can form a single x term here if I factor out the x. Then I will have x times 2 log 5 minus the log of 3 is equal to negative the log of 3 minus 3 times the log of 5. And then finally I'll divide out the bracket. On the left divide by the bracket and the brackets will cancel. On the right divide by the bracket and I have 2 log 5 minus log and that is my solution. The only thing left to do is evaluate that. Now if you're using a graphing calculator, the evaluation will go like this. Since you have more than one number in the numerator, bracket the numerator. We've already got the denominator bracketed because we got the denominator by dividing both sides by 
that top bracket that multiplied the x. So this thing is now ready to go into our calculator just like it is. We'll enter into our calculator x is equal to open negative the log of 3 minus 3 log of 5 close divided by open 2 log 5 minus the log of 3 and that's just something that you punch into your calculator exactly exactly as it is written make sure make sure you do this on your paper before you do this on your calculator so that's uh, negative whoops I think I put a minus sign I can't put a minus if it says negative you have to put a negative negative the log of 3 minus 3 log of 5 close divided by open 2 log 5 minus log 3 close hit enter and I get negative 2.795 which is approximately equal to negative 2.8. Okay. Let's go on to another problem. Now a way to check this would be to plug the negative 2.8 into the two sides of the equation at the top and see if you got the right answer. You're going to be off quite a bit though because there's a lot of rounding in that 2.8. So it would be better to use the negative 2.795, that's a little bit closer. And it would be better still to use all the decimals if you're trying to check that answer. But just for a, an answer on a quiz or on a test, uh, if you have any doubts about how many decimals you should keep, just ask me and I'll tell you at that time.